Hello and welcome. Oh god. Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, in the previous episode, we did a bunch of shit. Talked to a bunch of people. Got a bunch of quests, and I believe it's war room time. Wait, quarters? No, it's past quarters, but I gotta look at my quarters. Yes, my quarters will be great. What the fuck, please? You guys better fix this. Oh, it's higher up. Would you look at this? Spared no expense. That's right. I have something to take. What's this? Recipe. Oh, more stuff to customize, huh? Please view. Courtyard materials. I'm gonna have to look into that. Wait, what's this? Wardrobe. Casual wear, formal wear, outerwear, armor. Well, what do I wear for casual? Austerity, simple, eternal beige. Fuck that. Purity, be above reproach in both manner and dress with classic style and pattern white. Or vivacity, gar garb yourself in the rich blues of the Master Empire while keeping your ensemble simple and sleek. That sounds fancy. I'll do that. Formal wear. Winter Palace? Ah, screw that. Fit to meet royalty. Coastal Fortress? A formal azure sensation determined to declare war upon and victory over presuppositions. Sounds kind of cool. Callan had sunset. Like a brilliant sunset descending into a cerulean lake. The never-ending dance of fire and water is elegantly captured. Sounds fancy. The Midnight Tower, for discerning taste in formal accoutrements, dark tones and silvery accents evoke the wonder and gravity of night skies. You know I'll wear that. Outer wear, what's this? For the Inquisitor who wishes to project a can-do, hands-on image, a simple rugged number in rich browns. Venture forth. Venture capital, white accents, and a startling red undershirt. Defy expectations while maintaining a ready, durable style. Night's watch. <laughs> Somber tones and a heavy, heavier coat. Perfect for cold, scarhold nights and a weighty discussion. Day's vigil. Or vigil. <laughs> heavy leathers in lighter tones to project quiet confidence as they enthrall the eye. I like that. <laughs> Just select the bottom one for everyone. Uh, armor is immortal. Be observed standing at the portals of the Fae, glittering and silver. Okay. Eternal. Golden scale accented with green. Protected, secured, but never discreet. I like the name. I think I like this, this description better. <laughs> you know what? Eternal. But you look at that. This should be eternal. It's all golden shit. So fancy. I could climb upstairs. I could not sleep in my bed. There's some ale. Specifically for me. <laughs> and more views. Look at this. It's empty. Where the hell is the watch? There's no one here. No, uh, let's climb. What's up here? Well, I can see a whole lot of nothing. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. 
No, I can't jump down there. <laughs> Invisible wall. That's to be expected. Alright, I chose my clothes. And now I am eternal. Look at these eggs everywhere. Hello, Josephine. Goodbye, Josephine. To the war room. It's finally time. Finally time to actually progress with the story. Oh my god, what? Yeah, it's been like three episodes in Skyhold just talking. <laughs> I will not be, uh. supplied. For real then. I see some exclamation marks. Search for the hack writer. Nightingale. Camring is dead. Fully armored, locked in an inner room in his home. A knife in his back. Knew someone was coming for him. Ironically, the scene was exactly the same as one in the first Hard in Hightown novel. Someone sent a professional after this magistrate. They had to leave a trail. Cooper. Uh huh. Got another one. Answer a request from Hasmal. Commander Cullen, your men arrived this morning. It's good to see the Inquisition still trust Templars to perform their duties. Once we ensure that Hasmal's circle is stable and that no dangerous items fall into the hands of the unsuspecting scavengers, we will join you ourselves. Knight Commander Bryce. Got some influence. Alright, struck a bargain with Merchant Princes. A bundle of documents at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement the Inquisition has entered into with the Merchant Princes of Antiba. Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor, I am more than satisfied with the agreement we reached with them. Wait a minute. With the Merchant Princes, here is a duplicate if you wish to review it. I will put aside three days and two dozen candles. Ambassador Montelier. I thought it was her talking. Oh well. <laughs> huh. I want to look for some, um. Lorenzo. I want to look for some instant shit. New to the crew, a young hopeful. Interland resources. I don't want to do that because it's just resources. It's like, um, gather coin. No. Pointless, unless you want to waste some time. Information on the Grand Enchanter. Let's get the Frostback Basin. Gather coin. Yeah, grab the coin. Memorial for Haven. Dorian's Request. Dorian's Request might be something. Powerful price. Truth of Dare. See and be seen. Gain Ozumar's Friendship. Let's see Dorian's request. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought I'd bring up. There are Venatorian mages out there, lurking in the wilderness. This comes as no surprise to you, since you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of the Corypheus's minions. But, these particular Venatori have additional significance to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. Since I have an idea of where they might be, thanks to an investigation I began before coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down. At which point they would sneer something at you in Tevinter, and you would be forced to kill them. Which makes everyone happy. You for eliminating a potential threat? Me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to be permitted continued breath. They would be less happy, but who cares about them? Up to you, my lady inquisitor, Dorian. Okay. Let's see. If there are inventory out there, they'll show their faces. Someone has seen them and coin loses their lips. Let us look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the Venatori to awareness of our existence. Our former Templars skilled at hunting mages, I can send them to follow Dorian's leads. Let's see Liliana on it. 
indeed. Uh, gain all some nice friendship, yeah. Uh, we have received a message from Ozawa. Knowing an ancient tax bond threatens Thedas, King Balin officially declared his support for the Inquisition. Josephine. I would advise sending a delegation to Ozama as soon as possible to cement this alliance. Alright, sure. At your service. Now who can come and go to? Busy, busy, powerful price. Memorial for Haven, gather coin, investigate Frostback Basin, information on Grand Enchanto, fellow mine, resources, new to the crew, young and hopeful. What's this? A note in careful handwriting from the youth who recently arrived. To the Inquisition, I have found bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show you your people where they are. I have tried to stop them, but they have swords, and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help. D. Sutherland. Sutherland? Hmm. If we have the location, just eliminate them. But put the boy to work elsewhere. Oh. If the boy knows where they are, I'll fit him. It's a minor threat. Okay, sure. Inquisitor. Man, I want to find some instant, instant shit. Like, hey, here's a war horse. Let's look at all those, see if there's some instant shit. Make contact with the Emerald Graves. Liberate Empire's de Leon. Investigate the Exalted Plains. Alliances observing a deadlock. Aid those impacted by the Civil War. Negotiate a deal for weapons plans. Serpent of Navarra. Invitation from the Emperor. Job for the Battle of Cast Mercenaries. Friendship Canary. Carinus, Dwarven Slaves in Venatory Hands, Stop Venatory Activity in the West. Hmm. Now I'm not sure what to do. Skip the Storm Coast, find the Warden. Okay, uh, scouting. Orc has revealed that Corypheus can influence the minds of Grey Wardens. If the Darkspawn brings them under his sway, he'll command a legion of highly skilled warriors. The Inquisition must hunt down Hawk's Grey Warden ally, hiding in Crestwood to learn about the other Wardens' plans. No one has travelled to or from Crestwood since the breach, and Liliana will send her fastest agents to discover what disaster has rendered it silent. We must ensure that a trap is not awaiting us in Crestwood. I will send the scouts at your command. Yeah, sure. A hastily scrawled note received by the messenger bird, Inquisitor. Hawk's warden friend is here, somewhere here. Disappeared before we could talk to him. It's good, but caref be careful on the road. Lots of fun did. People here need our help. Explain more once you're here, Hardy. All right, uh, let's go. Sure. Let's get Sarah. Uh, let's get Cassandra. Blackpool's gone. Cole, no. Vivian, maybe. Solas, maybe. Iron Bull, sure, why not? Come on. Yeah. Blackwall left us because he couldn't stand me letting uh, Empress Selene die. But that's all part of the game, brother. Gotta be uh, in for the game. Hello, Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. We've got trouble ahead. What is it? Are the Red Templars here? There's a few up in the hills, but for once, they're not our biggest problem. What is? It's a dragon. Oh yeah, speaking of which, 
should actually kill the dragon in the hinterlands. That's a strange sight. Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. We never meet anywhere nice. Oh. <laughs> nah. I'll start now. Best get to it then. Right, Your Worship. Good luck. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows that won't help. Good luck. And please be safe. I'll try my best. Hello, guys. Let's see my potions. Oh, it's good. It's all good. Um. Anything? Tapestries. These things just give you power. I don't need these. I just do quests. Play this place. Help Chris would fight back against the undead. Okay. Seems like someone has a report. Inquisitor, you have a moment. Report. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Navaran Lombos. Drop a little hide, huh? I don't know how it works. But maybe someone actually make How are you really hurt, Sarah? How? Maybe I should look into the inventories. Need some, uh. Block and slash. If I actually remember what block and slash actually does. Ah, yes. And flanking life drain. What is built? Built a health. Yeah, you know what? Stick with the health. Ah, oh, yeah, I meant to check the map. Let's see. There's something here. Still waters. Oh, let's do that. Let's get my horse. Okay. And uh, away we go. I haven't exactly been farming. I haven't played this game for a while. And we see some undead. And let's do this. Now first, they're archers, so uh, the stasis won't affect them. Let's electrocute them. Get them out. Which one's explodey? There's so many. Which one's explodey? Oh, there we go. Uh, charging for this one. And just go and attack. The damage. Holy crap. I love my damages. Grey Warden. Hey, Grey Warden. Why are you here? What are you doing in Crestwood? Named Stroud is wanted for questioning. We heard Question. the pastor here, but the villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. What do you know about him? What have you been told about this rogue warden? 
Is it our friend? Commander Corel ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Sir Capture comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. He's staying out. Help these the villages. Crestwood was only a detour. If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villages have already lost too many. Farewell. Well, yeah. <laughs> they have orders. Sir, are you sure we can't help the village? Our orders are clear. If we can't find Warden Stroud, we return to the commander with all haste. Still don't feel right. I know, but if I judge our orders rightly, harder decisions await. None of those wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the order. I do not think so either. The infiltration in their ranks may be subtle. Right, because they would have said. Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. Take what? The hell is this? What the fuck? You just take someone's offering. <laughs> you shouldn't leave your door open like this. Why join now? There's no blight. You want to join the Grey Wardens now? I think. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes. The Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. You're probably gonna die. I mean, they're heroes, but fighting that stuff all the time. Do it. What's this crown thing? Let's try it. Find another way to help people. The wardens have problems of their own right now. Yes, Your Worship. I'm sure there's something else I can do to help. Probably going to get yourself. Oh, Asian acquired. Okay. I swear I'll avoid the wardens, Inquisitor. Thank you for the warning. Uh, glad I could help. <laughs> Man, fog of war, fuck you. God damn it. I could go there. Yes. I can't see shit. Village of Crestwood. What's in here? Anything? Loot. You know what? I'll take it. Uh, enemies have appeared. Let's turn to fight, I suppose. Let's do it. Let's do this. I don't need to control them for this. They can do whatever they want. And he's dead. Speak to Chris Woods Mayor. They have been, uh, they have been taking care of themselves. They have been fending... They have been holding their own. God damn. Look at this. But they only lost like three people. They said they didn't lose any. Not yet, anyway. What's going on here? Ever since that green light appeared, undead keep rising from the I can't land. hear the atmosphere. The can tell you more. <laughs> I hope Andras they sent you your worship. We've been trapped here for weeks. Okay, and why can't I hear the rain? This is a bit weird. <laughs> why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Who the I fuck's Judith? If something happens. Yeah, who the fuck is Judith? For someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? No shit. Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Why not? Why wouldn't she hide you're a hack? Like her space, she says. Oh. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Is Judith like a cow or something? Or is it another ram? Good day to you. <laughs> 
Okay, check up on Judith. <laughs> Bitches a cow. Something stupid. It's not safe to work with these. Crumpled letter. You know what? I can read this. A letter written by the quick hand. From everything you've told me, you must get out of Crestwood as soon as you can. I know it's dangerous, but I fear you will have no chance at all if you don't attempt the trip. My father said that talking dead man's pass. Now, taking dead man's pass. We guide you safely past those filthy highwaymen. If you come at dusk, you should be able to avoid the wolves too. Hurry, my love. Sin. Whose letter is that? I wonder. Nothing in here. Moving on. Okay. What's this? This is a strange looking place. I'll come out when it's safe. Who is that anyway? Can I smash it open? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strange. You don't actually know what you can break or not. Count on one hand the number we've gotten since the trouble started. Who the hell is even talking? No merchants, huh? Oh well. There's the mayor's house. Uh, nothing else. Well, there's a board here. I wonder what it says. Message board. This board has several papers and scraps of paper spin to it, pinned to it. No one is to approach the dragon again. I have sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any signs of Henry at first light. Mayor Dedrick. One of my lambs went missing. Strap on front right hoof. Disappeared yeast. Yes. Even in, in Upper Meadow. Urban. If anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did. Penelope. Need rake? I oh, will lend you one for five co copers. Come see me. I also have a wagon. It's very good. Be needs rip. <laughs> you can have it. Just come take it away from me home. Bring wheels. Why? Why? So those who count Milton and Lonnie into the backboard. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Mayor's house, huh? Kinda knew that. Anything inside? No? Alright, let's... The Inquisitor. Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village. At your service, despite everything. Are you... here to stop the undead? No, we're here to take over. We're not just gonna leave them. Can I get to that Fade Rift? The undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's common from the caves below Old Crestwood. Dark spawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. Now, uh, how do we get the water away? I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. We are trying to help. The Inquisitor is the only one who can close the rift. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. We can't ask you to risk your life. <laughs> Admit you need the help. You're risking the village's safety if you spurn my help. Or is someone else coming? But... No, they aren't. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under Old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. I wonder if those rifts are actually two-way or one-way. Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, Your Worship. It's all we've ever wanted. 
Well, now you get war. What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen, thugs and thieves. Yeah. They make a living raiding caravans on the king's road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper of the fort and took it for themselves. Gamekeeper. We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the blight. It was a close thing. The dark spawn followed a band of refugees running from the blight. Some of the refugees were... They, they were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the dark spawn flooded old Crestwood. How they flooded. They're kind of stupid, aren't they? All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now they return to us. Until later. Of course. Must be something you did, huh? Well, let's read this. The Anderfells. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Sarah, how are you hurt again? By ten nine. Uh, let's look at the map. Something over here. I don't know what it is. So let's go and look at it. Must be up there. Oh, it's you again. What are you doing here? Very weird looking spot. What are you doing here? Finally, plan to drain the lake. I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Oh, that's, that's quite a Toss. The bottom of the lake. They were the make of children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Your devotion does me credit. Seek a pentecast. Forgive me. I did not expect to see the right hand of the divine in our humble village. Be at ease. We have too much to do to stand on rank. Yes, Seeker, as you say. Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many Burning bodies? In the first attack. Oh, there will be endless time to mourn. They are bodies. Is how many more will be added to the pyre? What did you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. That's because it would. You want to unleash Until demons. Farewell. Rather than undead. Undead you can handle. Demons? Oh. You did. If you try. Hey, look at this. I don't think there's anything else, so um don't wanna fight the keep. Uh, I wanna ex wanna get some uh What the fuck is that? Can I just see something I'm not supposed to see? Doubt it. But then again. I've uh, seen stranger shit. I'm going to seal this rift and I'll go and make camp. Because I need a. I need somewhere to teleport to. Bunch of weird blue plants, huh? It is. 
Arcane Horror. Not too tough. Get that motherfucker! Okay, uh, long shot. Gonna need you to charge in and kill this motherfucker. Pamela, mighty blue. And it's dead. Oh -ho. About to disrupt the rift. Let's put a thingy right in front of me. If they want to come for me. Let's disrupt the rift. Oh no. Get away from me! Have a little pot. Hey, there's a cave here. Near the north gate. Got some power on that. You see, you get, get power from this. What's the point of doing these requisitions? I wonder. I think these are necessary. Well, they don't really take up much space. I don't think they take up any space at all. Oh, there's a Nug. Yeah, hello Nug. I don't want to kill you. Unless you make me want to kill you. Keep out. Who's saying keep out, huh? Interesting. It's probably one of those bandits. It looks very bandit like. Probably connects to their fort. Alright, summon our horse. Set on your waypoint. I'm kind of lost as what to do. Oh, there we go. This will help keep me on track. Establish camp. Village of Crestwood. Oh yeah, and there's also a dragon around here somewhere. Just gotta keep an eye out for it. Although you wouldn't really need to since it's... I'm going the right way. I'm not sure. So up here? So I pass up here? It doesn't really look like it. And there's this tower I haven't actually explored it. I'll go take a quick look. Sigil of Bronto. Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's get down. Must uh, travel along the shores to get there, I think. Yeah, this way. Might have to defend the main gate. They could actually just get in from the side. What 
What's up here, I wonder? Some sort of house. Some sort of monument. I claim this hidden cave. Yeah, really. To have a journal on the band to just cross the way so you can so I can keep an eye on bursts. Managed to take back some of the supplies they stole from that troubling merchant. They didn't even see it coming. But I'm not afraid. They want to fight, they can come and get me. And he's dead, isn't he? Wait, I'm at this cave. This must be the cave. Hey, you had some obsidian. There's some chain linked fence in here for some reason. There's some barrels. There's some. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Don't worry, I'm just taking your shit. Say peace. Obsidian. I don't actually talk to her at all. Interesting. <laughs> just running here, taking all the shit. Okay, this easy to understand why people turn into bandits if the nobles don't protect you from crap like this. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't actually go anywhere. I thought I missed something, but I didn't. It's just this cave of shit. <laughs> Alright horse, come again. Let's do this. The rocky slope. Oh, that's the keep. It's a pretty good looking keep. Let's see if I can just get... Oh, that's red lyrium. They're just red lyrium poking out of the ground. That's just a little bit weird. What's over this way? Glen Morgan Mine. Let's investigate this place then. Yes, whatever. Fallon didn't. Good on ya. Red Templars ahead. A bunch ahead. Or they think they are. What? Oh, there. Marksman, horror. That guy's kind of coming close. Kind of that. Try to shoot at me, will ya? I'll oh, probably kill myself. Frickin'. Bastard! Kept shooting at me. Just take everything. Oh, master book shield. Intense red lyrium. It's just that. There's a cave. There's a uh, one of these things, Astrium. Find the others. Okay. It goes like this. This
Here's a pretty easy shape. Ooh, it's a thingy wielding a lance. One winged angel. Okay, showed me where the others are. Good. Constellation Kios. Let's find more Red Templar and kill the shit out of them. It's so dark in here. Damn you, Red Templar. Let's go around planting your shit. What the fuck? Let's look around. Something down here. Radio. What's this? Bottles of Thetas. Antivian Sipsip. Antivian Sipsip. Careful, this one's mean. Attic Bray's mean. Popular among highborn who wish to seem dangerous, but more at home grasped by the neck by those who actually are. Okay. Let's just say it's something like whiskey or vodka. Whiskey, vodka. Who knows? This is a strange place. There's a wyvern, two wyverns, three wyverns. No, it's just multiple body parts. Uh, yeah. I reckon you can shoot at this guy. Cold vulnerability in cold vulnerability, huh? Greater electricity resistance. Are you serious? Shit. Oh well. Full draw. Charge. Dungeon slash. Oh. Almighty blue. Oh crap, maybe I should have full draw the other one. Times like this, I wish I had uh, something else. Oh hell, give me something. Immune to paralyze, huh? It's gonna take a while. So, uh, how you doing? <laughs> what am I looking at? Is the same old woman? Well, you know what? Kill. Kill them. Tough, to say the least. And they didn't drop shit. Well, at least get this loot. Yay! Hey, what the hell is this? Josephine is ready to report. Fade knocker staff. Oh. Guess I'll take that. Uh. Yeah, I have to go there. It should be better than my crafted one. Fade knocker. 
Uh, Mao not to heal and kill though. Right, damn it. It's stronger. Quick chance. Veil strike on hit. The star of handcrafted for battle. As enchanter is low once said. Magic is this to serve man, and some are best served with a knock upside the head. <laughs> ah. That's good. <laughs> oh man, I like my stuff. That's the problem with these. Let's see, I'm never going to make another weapon. Just going to wait until I get my strongest weapon or whatever. And I'll craft like a uh, grips and shit for it. Yeah, kind of realized I haven't really been talking to the audience. <laughs> As does other commentators in the field of uh, YouTube. So, how is your day? Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Sounds like you're talking to yourself, which you actually are, but... Sealed orders, not Templar Sturge. There's a small ruin in the hills above Crestwood, a tiny place but it's old and elven, so leave no stone unturned. General Samson's orders. You've been told what to look for, so, ex so I expect a report once you're done. Copy down any elven writing you see. Not Lieutenant Moore. It looks like our war table is being Related. Maybe I'll go back once I discover this can. Or obsidian. Or obsidian. There's a knight templar. Need be feared. Picked. Oh, he just died. Oh, he leaves this behind. Oh, that was an animal. Did I miss something over here? Is this where he came from? No. How get rid of him? Red Templar Shadow. He's scared. He wasn't scared, not in the least. Man, I like Barrage. If you don't know what these sh Shadow Dude is, he's basically a rogue. He stealths up and uh, attacks your back ranks. Your back dudes. The dudes that you put in the back because you don't want them to get hit. Yeah, those guys. He targets them. Like a bitch. I think that was the thing up there. The tent. The camp. That looks like a rift. That's an enemy. Multiple enemy. Come and follow me. Can't do shit. That's right. Because I'm uh, a Sarah. There's a shit ton of damage. It's an armored truffler. Three trout pond. Not a bad spot to camp. I agree. But I want to check out this house first. I knew it. Easy bear hide. Nice. Oh, that was good. 
What's this? I wonder. Rifts at three trout farm. Naturalist. More rifts. Astrium. Another astrium. Here lies the abyss. I'll put it there. The thing is, I'm going back to Skyhold. Um, yeah, I think I have to do that in the world map. World map. Skyhold? Yes. I can go anywhere. Storm Coast. Black Emporium. Velroyo. Forbidden Oasis. I can't remember what's Forbidden Oasis, but whatever. Travel to uh, the location. It's only Cullen that hasn't started reporting in. God damn it, Cullen. Reporting. Reporting. What's this? Grand Duchess Florian de Char Charlemagne. Sure. <laughs> Is there someone here for me to judge? I doubt it. What's the job there, I can't remember what to do. Ah, yes, war. Hello. Wait a minute. Who is this? Harding. I think. A tailor's coat from Van Royal. He can't wear armor all the time. He will appreciate the gesture, Lady Ambassador. That's a polite way of saying he wouldn't like it, isn't it? Oh, it's Balin. Let's talk about Balin. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. I don't know what you're talking about. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. Oh. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevada, Your Worship. Who? It's become Where? a somewhat delicate task. Or a dangerous one. Should I pose more guards outside your room? That should be unnecessary, Inquisitor. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Such as? Are you excusing her? Do you always apologize for bloodthirsty nobles? It's the usual showmanship expected from those in power, Inquisitor. Nothing more. But I confess I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Discuss them with me. Showing up. I have time. If you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Now it's right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's Cole's lurking. Okay. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Jinnar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. <laughs> the man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Uh, a bit more than that. Two and a half hours, I think. But no one's counting. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. I think you're delightful. 
<laughs> Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montelier. Goodness. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. I didn't know it was taking so long. God damn it. My episode is over already. <laughs> I split my episode in two and a half time. <laughs> and she leaves me here, huh? Interesting. You know, I was going to the same place too. God damn it. Uh, I've got to talk to you about Balin. King Balin. Alright, not another cutscene, please. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. It might be the Maker's will. Who the fuck cares? I believe it was Holly too. Uh, not really. The Maker isn't of this world. Anchor's magic, not holy. The anchor's nothing more special than a misfired spell. At least you had the good fortune to take it from Corypheus. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. Uh, I'll cope. Only when I laugh. <laughs> Very good, Inquisitor. <laughs> a situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Nobody Such as? In the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the divine's death. Oh, really? Again? Organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Uh, we need a show of force. Well, let's investigate first. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader. It may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the grand clerics are at work. Those Not the clerics again. The divine died at the conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. And punch him in the face or the back of the head. Sending soldiers to patrol the area might make people think twice about slandering me. A daring move, but one that will show the world we have military might behind us. Definitely. And definitely. A pleasure. I have more personal questions. How are you always so polite? <laughs> How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are thick. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Doesn't it get tiresome? Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be tried. There is no shortage of self regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely painful. But honestly, I miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating. Alright. The game isn't worth it. And I'm glad you have showing up. Better than making piles of interesting enemies. I've had both, sometimes depending on which way the wind has been blowing at the time. But worth it, all in all, I think. Yeah, I knew she would disagree if I said that. <laughs> what do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of. You know what? Whatever. I can't be bothered. Goodbye. <laughs> I just walk away. <laughs> walk out, Are you done yet, Cullen? My god, did I send him on a, such a long mission? Oh, yeah, I got a perk. Do a knowledge, such as method, artist posture. Being unseated. Okay, knowledge. Knowledge. 
Beautiful favor. Rare stocks. Inventory space. Oh, yes. But I have a feeling I want something extra. Discovery range, okay. Enhanced studies. Find retroactively. Deft hands find tools. Oh! Allows me to open masterwork locks. I think I need that. Yeah, sure. Let's get that. Alright, Phil Reldon, let's see what you have to offer. You to the crew, young hopeful. Oh, it's done. The Sutherland lad reported back. The bandits were cleared with minor spoils. He may have potential, Colin. Gain Ozma's friendship. Our emissaries have returned. Ozma has pledged to our cause some of the most formidable warriors from the Legion of the Dead. According to the king, they are the veteran Darkspawn hunters, absolutely fearless. The king also graciously offered to share Ozuma's wealth. He recognizes the threat Corypheus poses. Sigil of the Great Bear. In time molesting. Dorian's request. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where these venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. Now mark the locations on your map, should you pass by any on your travels. Yeah, sure. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Crestwood resources, like I want to do it. Shadows over Denrim, what's this? Inquisitor! First things first, an apology. I offered the rebel mages safe harbor in Verolden only to have them there drive my uncle out of his own town. So I'll admit I wasn't in the best of moods when I first met you. Is this King Ke King? Whatever his face is, has wanted everyone out of Redcliffe and didn't care who was responsible for what. Now I wish I'd done otherwise. Isn't that always the way? These cultists. Venatori. I think they're called. We have them in the royal palace. Or so I'm told. Like rats. But the magic and nasty sneers. I don't know what they're up to. But I need to find them and drive them out. Since the Inquisition knows all about them, I'm hoping you'll help. Something, something, grateful something. Wait, did you just write that? You scribes do this on purpose, don't you? King Alistair Theorem. Yeah, Alistair. <laughs> something, something, grateful, something. I have just the agent in mind for this. Allow me to send her to Denrim to quietly hunt down the Venatory spies. Send force to aid in the manhunt. Not only should we help, but everyone should see us doing it. Ooh. Yeah, sure. I like that. You make a very uh, interesting interesting theme, Dean. Let's get Lord Enzo on Antiva. A report from Antiva delivered to Liliana. Listen, huh? The Venatori are smuggling red delirium into Antiva. But thus far, they have evaded our grasp. We believe Lord Enzo of Real Rialto is assisting them. Enzo is clever, well liked, and has relations among Antivan royalty. If we approach him without proof, he will bury his tracks and turn his allies against us. We must handle this. Carefully. I have a cousin in Rialto. If she knew she threw a soiree and invited Lord Enzo, his house would be clear for Liliana's agents. Lord Enzo attends the theatre on the same night each week. His home is empty, save a few servants during that time. My agents could pay a visit. You know, Josephine, you help Liliana, which is... I don't know how just... You will be used, uh, be doing the thing. Mature. Let us begin. Indeed. 
Hide in high town. <laughs> My god. This stupid high in high town shit. A couple of your high in high town sits open on the table. Jevlan was waiting outside the captain's office when done in uh, whatever. We're not getting a warrant, are we? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll read it because it's a quest. Jevlan was waiting outside the captain's office when Don and Beno Benokovic slunk out, defeated. We're not getting a warrant, are we? Jevlan looked almost relieved. No, Don and met his partner's eyes. The kid was barely 20 and looked like he walked straight to the Kirkwall barracks from somebody's potato farm. <laughs> Taller and broader. And the other guard, Jevlan slouched as if he didn't know how to fit into his own limbs, as if he thought he should be smaller, hunched over in his brand new, too large armor. He looked like a child playing at being a guard. He was too green for a murderer investigation. Murder investigation. Maybe it's for the best, Jevlan said, almost speaking. Almost speaking, Donner's thought out loud. You're on your way out of the guard, and I'm... He traded off then sighed. Questioning nobles in the middle of the night wasn't covered in training. Donnan glared at the kid. I'm a city guard, and so are you, recruit. Nobody gets away with murder while we're on duty. Jevlan looked a little straighter. What do we do, then? The captain wants proof, Donnan smiled. We bring her proof. Letting eyes written on her in the margin. The dead magistrate attempt to implicate Varric? Why? And in what? Okay, Liliana. If an assassin killed the magistrate, a word of the crows might tell us who it was. They watch rivals carefully. You should support the official group will guard investigation into this murder. Ah, keep it a secret. Let's see what we have. That's because she's the only one left. <laughs> and it's over. It is over. I guess I'll um, I'll fast travel to that place, whatever it was. Yeah, and that's the end of the episode. Oh uh, yeah. So um, I guess I'll see you in the next video or episode. Yeah. Crosswood. I'll see you back in Crestwood where I'll, um, I'll probably take care of that rift first. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll just pick him. You know what, Sarah? No. I'll pick a Dorian, I'll pick a Varric, and I'll pick a Cassandra. Yes. And uh, I'll see you in Crestwood in the next episode or video, whatever you choose to watch, or whatever I have. Maybe it won't even be me, maybe it'll be my good old friend Will, Woody Willy. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.